Dear students, I am Dr. Farhat Yasmin and today we will discuss about plant mineral nutrition. But before going into detail about the plant mineral nutrition, first of all we will try to understand what actually soil is. As you all know that earth is almost 4.5 billion years old and its youngest stage, it was a very harsh place. It was very difficult to, uh, for any life to start uh, over there because it was uh, a land which was mixture of igneous and sedimentary rocks. Later on, these rocks were transformed into soil by glaciers, wind and rain and later by the organisms and their activities. This conversion of rocks into soil is called uh, the weathering and it is very bas uh, very slow process. So at this side time, soil have different layers and each of which have distinguished characters. First uh, layer of the soil is known as the O horizon that is the surface layer which is covered with the uh, different types of fallen leaves and only this is full a few centimeters thick. Below O horizon is the A horizon that is also known as the top soil and that extends 10 to 30 centimeters below the surface soil and this so horizon has pH 7 and it also contains 10 to 15 percent organic matter. Mm, and uh, because of this organic matter this horizon has dark color next uh, to the a horizon is the b horizon that consists of larger soil particles and that extends 30 to 60 centimeters below the soil surface and it usually contains little organic matter next horizon is known as the c horizon that occurs between uh, 90 to 30, 120 centimeters below the surface soil and is, it is partially consisted of the unaltered particles or large uh, rock fragments and mineral grains this horizon usually lack any organic matter and often referred to as the parent material this figure is clearly indicating the different uh, horizons of the soil this is the o horizon a b and c horizons. Thank you.